This is a self-portrait of the artist Vincent van Gogh. Van Gogh was a Dutch artist. That means he's from the Netherlands. He was born in the Netherlands in 1853. Today, Van Gogh is one of the world's most famous artists. But when he was alive, he wasn't famous at all. In fact, he only sold one painting during his entire life. This is one of his most famous paintings. It's called The Starry Night. This is his painting, The Bedroom at Arles. And this is Cafe Terrace at Night. Even though Van Gogh is very famous for his paintings, he's also famous for another reason. He's the artist that cut off part of his ear. Van Gogh suffered from depression his whole life, and as an adult, one evening he was in a rage and cut off part of his ear. After that evening, all of his self-portraits included a bandage over his ear. We are going to be studying about Van Gogh's sunflowers paintings. He actually made five versions of the sunflowers paintings. This version is in Munich, Germany. This version of sunflowers is in an art museum in London, England. And this one is in Tokyo, Japan. This version of the sunflowers is in the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. This sunflowers painting is in the United States. It's in an art museum in Philadelphia. Now, why did Van Gogh paint the same picture, well, almost, five different times? He was getting ready for a visitor to come stay with him when he had a house in the south of France and he was decorating the house and he chose to decorate with five pictures of the sunflowers. For today's project, you are going to need a good piece of paper and a pencil to draw with. We will be working on the same paper for several class times. I want you to think like a leader and first things first, we're going to begin with the vase. First, we're going to use an oval to be the mouth of the vase. Be sure to make a flat oval and not a thick one. We know that this is going to turn into a painting, not a pencil drawing. So draw lightly at first. Add the sides of the vase so as they come down, they taper in. Do not use just straight lines that come down. Add a gentle curved line at the bottom of the vase and at the halfway point. Do not add straight flat lines. Add a straight line to be the table that the vase sits on. Keep this paper for next week's lesson when we add the flowers inside of the vase. Ozzy says, think win-win. He knows you can do this. 